hello guys welcome back to our youtube channel today we bring to you just on taiwazan aka ogogo or mokulodo yes he is celebrating 22 years after his mother passed away uh taking to his instagram page sharing old photos of his mother went tired to add captioned counting and stating that it's been 22 years since his mother left the sinful world and he also misses her no matter how old you are if your mother is no longer here with you you will always miss your mother and ogogo is not an exception despite the fact that he is a father and a grandfather as well he still stated there that he misses his mother he continued by praying for her that may allah continue to forgive her of our sins in his words he said and i quote today makes it 22 years you left this world to a better place mother i miss you as we all do i pray allah forgives your sin and grant you al -Jana. you have impacted us with your kind words character and attitude which has increased us all in value keep resting mommy princess alimat and teller aka Iyataye. It may interest you to know and bring to your remembers that Taiwo Azan Ugogo was a twin but of all the four twins his mother had he is the only surviving one and he is the Taiwo hence this brought about the name Iyataye. In this comment section a lot of fans followers and loved ones went ahead to make one or two comments and praying for the soul of the departed Akinalaya said, continue to rest, Mama. Ratayawo, who is the daughter of Ogogo and happens to be the granddaughter of late Iyataye, also made a comment saying, Miss you so much, Iya Ilaro, RIP, Mama. Other users also commented saying, May your soul continue to rest in perfect peace, and may ya Allah. Another user said, My second son, Mommy, is here. Another user said, Ya Allah, grant her our general freedom. Another user said, Beautiful Mama, me continue to rest in peace, ma. This and many more were several reactions on social media by fans and followers of Ogogo or Mokulodo. Celebrating his birthday a few years back, he stated that his birthday celebration and marking of that special day was not just for flamboyance but an appreciation to God. Because of all his siblings, he seems to be the only one alive. Sharing this with Saturday Scope, he said, My birthday celebration was not for me. It was to celebrate on behalf of my parents, my late parents, would have been happy that God kept me alive. I lost my mother 19 years ago and my father 49 years ago. I am grateful for all my endeavors. My family, 60 years is not a joke. When God loves one, it's not because one is better, it's just grace. When one attain a certain age, one needs to move closer to Allah. After all of life's struggles, it's only blessings that should follow. I met a lot of people in the movie industry, but we are all doing fine now. This was Ogogoma Kulodo when he celebrated his 60th birthday, stating emphatically that he, of all his siblings, is the one alive. And wherever his parents are today, he is sure they are going to be happy and proud that he is alive and keeping the family name. Well, Ogogo has made it a tradition to always celebrate his late mother every year and that of his father as well. Last year when he celebrated his late mother's remembrance, fans took to his Instagram page of the veteran actor to console him as he remembers his late mother. The actor also took to his Instagram page to post pictures of his mother with touching words to remember her. He said it is exactly 21 years since she left them. This was last year and this year he celebrating 22 years since they left. Ogogo appreciated his mother for taking care of him. He said a son will always be a baby to his parents for the days you cared for me while I was unaware of who I was. For the period you kept me within reach only for my protection. For the love I felt right from your womb, I say thank you. It is indeed true as Agogo has stated that every man, be it woman or man, is always a baby to his parents. And also, a man's first love is his mother. Hence, one of the reasons why 
each person here who will go make sure to appreciate the person of his mother. His colleagues and fans also join him to remember his late mother. They pray for our gentle soul to continue resting in perfect peace. And here was the write-up, a piece that touched everyone last year that he wrote. In his words, he said, A son will always be a baby to his parents. For the days you cared for me while I was unaware of who I was. For the period you kept me within reach only for my own protection. For the love I felt from your womb. Keep resting, mother. May Allah forgive all your sins. Today makes it 21 years. You left us, Princess Halima Tainke, Janri Taiwo, Yataye Netela, R.I.P. Well, Ogogo Amakulodo has had a fair share of controversy in the Nollywood industry. This was when he was sick for years. There were so many things said about Ogogo's illness. Some people said Ogogo was involved in illegal drug trafficking and on his way to one of his trips, the drugs busted in his intestine and this was what brought about his illness. So many things were said and assumed about his health. Ogogo eventually spoke about it, came out and said a lot of things. He said a lot of people ran away from him. His friends, relatives, in fact at some point his wife, one of his wife, almost ran away from him as she concluded that it wasn't something natural it was more of spiritual attack lo and behold he was suffering from acute and chronic ulcer ogogo went ahead to explain that assuming his fame and career was attached to some spiritual power it would have been worse for him at the time of his illness he said he emaciated so much that a lot of people even concluded that he had hiv aids in his words, he pointed out that what people don't know is that assuming his fame is being attached to some power some way, things would have since gone bad for him. In his words, he said, this is a question that I myself don't even know the answer. It is only God that knows that because it is the love of God. Some will get to stardom and within a year will not remember them again. God loves us so much. It is now left to us to do the will of God. We should always try our best in any situation to find ourselves. My fame is natural. If it was to be sacramental, I am sure it must have faded out by now. I came to stardom in 1991. In 1992, I could no longer take public bus again, and I was still working under water compression as at that time. A cab will come pick me up at home in the morning and return me at night. So if God can do it from then till now come on i'm blessed with love this was ogogo explaining his career and how far god has brought him and it's true for him to still be relevant a lot of his contemporaries and some people that he started out with are nowhere to be found considering the number of years he stayed off screen while he was ill and sick but we thank god for life today for ogogo and his family he's doing well is bagging deals in fact he just received a title from his hometown ilaru as otumayegun well back to the gist of protest today which is ogogo's mother's remembrance of 22 years we pray that our gentle soul continues to rest in perfect peace well guys there you have it don't forget to like subscribe and drop your comments in the comment section below thank you bye